They say that you can tell a lot about a person from the bag that they are carrying and what is inside their bag. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the little makeup bag that I carry with me every day to work. Okay, I had to close the curtain because the lighting in the room through the video was not very great. It was a little bit uh, dark, but I think this background is still lovely. You can still see my uh, plant, my dracaena. And without any further ado, let's open my bag. Okay, let's see. What do we have inside? I have to say when it comes to the things that I carry with me on a daily basis, I am very much a minimalist. I don't want to carry a lot of things. I don't want to carry unnecessary things in my bag because I always carry my laptop and I don't want the bag to be too heavy. So let's start. First product on the bag. Oh, it's this one that I barely use. Um, this is uh, for um, for my glasses, to clean my glasses. I always forget that I have it. And like I'm pretty sure many others, I clean my glasses with my top, with my jumper, etc. I shouldn't be doing this though. Mm. Note taken, however. Second product is, I always carry silk scrunchie. Even though lately I've been uh, wearing this uh, hair clip, I always love a silk scrunchie just in case. I love the fabric, the texture. I mean, it's so lovely and chic. Um, and I also have a mini, mini hair clip. Oh, this matches my plant, actually. This is uh, from Alexandre de Paris. Not sure if you know this brand. We used to have this uh, brand at Harrods ages ago and I love the products. Sadly, we don't have them anymore. Um, I believe there might be, or again, maybe it used to be, um, a little uh, Alexandre de Paris boutique um, on Sloan Street, um, but the hair accessories are super expensive. But nevertheless, they last forever. This is, this is over five years old, the hair clip. Okay, next products. Uh, so here I have, I would say, one, two, three. Three products are a must for my um, mini makeup bag, for my bag in general. It's three products I always have to have in my bag. Number one, a lip balm. Number two, a fragrance. And number three, a hand cream. I can't live without these uh, products. I kind of feel naked without them, believe it or not. So let's start with the hand cream. This is one of my favorite ones. The other day I was, um, I tried the uh, La Roche Posay I have. Uh, it, uh, it gives great moisturization, is that even a word? But the smell is like non-existent and I do love a bit of a smell. So this one is my favorite because I love how it smells. It's from Clarence. Um, hand and nail treatment cream. I believe it's a super old product. Uh, they have been doing it since forever, so nothing new. Signature Clarence uh, smell and uh, makes your hands super, super soft. I love applying uh, this uh, cream. I think I have some paper cuts here. Oh well. So second a product, a lip balm, the one that I have been carrying uh, lately is a super simple, uh, super affordable um, uh, lip uh, therapy from Boots. You can also find it at your local supermarket, everyone. This one is uh, the rosy one uh, that comes with a bit of a color and that's why I love it. Sometimes I forget to apply uh, lipstick. Uh, therefore, I want my lip treatment to come with a bit of color just to make my lips uh, look, feel smooth and super rosy, like now. You can see I'm not wearing anything else, so voila. Second, well, the second we said is the fragrant, uh, the fragrance. Uh, so I'm going to show you the one that I've been I've been wearing this since December, since I went uh, on holidays uh, in Greece. 
it's from John Malone, uh, Cologne Intense, Mir and Tonka. So quite intense. I wouldn't say heavy, but it's definitely, definitely not very light. So I think one, two spray, uh, sprays of this is, is more than enough. And I mean, I still have plenty. Like, this, is a, this is a travel size. It is just 9 ml, but let me tell you that, it goes a long way. So next product, actually I have three uh, products uh, remaining, um, actually four. <laughs> So this one is a lip balm, but with a glossy effect. So sometimes if I want a bit of a gloss, I need to have a, a, a glossy uh, balm in my bag. Uh, this one is the grapefruit one from Laneige. Uh, it's a Korean brand. Uh, do I have Laneige at Harrods? I don't think so. This one I bought from Singapore a few years ago when I was visiting. Beautiful smell and it's glossy, but not too glossy. And I love that. It's like a natural glossiness to the lips. And for the moments that I want uh, my lips to have a more intense color, I will always have a lipstick with me. At the moment, I'm carrying these red carpet red from charlotte tilbury it's super red uh, it's a rich deep red and what i do is i just apply it with my finger and i'll i'll do it little by little so and i want just a pop of color but I want it to always look and feel natural I don't want too much color on my lips and I don't have a blusher in my bag but after I apply lipstick if I feel that I need a bit of color on my cheeks I will do this but truth to be told my cheeks are always rosy <laughs> because I have a natural redness in that area uh, over here. So yeah, I definitely do not suffer of looking like a ghost most of the times. Last product, no, two last products. This one is one of the best gifts I have ever re received from Roshni. This, my friends, is a is it called a coffee stopper so basically you go at bread you order your coffee and you know there is that bit uh, on the lid that uh, your coffee might lick uh, so you just put this on top problem solved i love it this is such a cute little accessory and gadget for all coffee lovers out there if you know what i mean and the last product inside my bag are my vitamins so i got some new vitamins this uh, week and I love the packaging because it's so small it fits in my bag and it's easy to carry these are from Centrum you take one a day with your meal hence uh, why I like to carry them and I don't have this first thing in the morning and my little makeup bag is from Azurina and it has my initials, ET, 